Morning, here we go. Lunging lesson 23. I'm just walking to the line uh, so I can follow the football pitch round. And I think I just said lunging lesson 23. Slightly different today. I have a, usually have a little plan that is pretty flexible about what I'm going to talk about. And it's different today because I think it's our first rainy and wet one as I get into the lunges. So it quite be a good day to do some lunges inside in some sets or do some forward then reverse and just keep switching it round in sets of 10 or 20. As I say, slightly different today. It will be health and fitness related, but obviously yesterday across social media was a significant day and having the blackout Tuesday is a start um, and what I want to talk about now is related to health and fitness I'll just tag it on at the end but responsibility how we tackle I think a lot of issues a lot of cultural and societal issues comes down to responsibility uh, none more so the racism from what I can kind of properly put together from black people speaking on behalf of their community on behalf of yeah the, where they are where they live and what that looks like for them it seems to be that just standing on the sidelines saying that's not me uh, I'm, I'm not racist, I don't have anything other than love and good thoughts towards them, to, towards anybody because a person's a person is, is right and correct but that's evidently not enough and I'm not kind of advocating full-scale activism or anything crazy but more to really and this is myself as well to really search and be sure that in action and in deed and in attitude and things that I say things that I think it is a hundred percent that you had a no no jokes no banter no generalizing about any people group based on I don't know things that have just become said in society I don't know, and for young black people who so used to be a teacher there are some shocking statistics really about how likely they are to be excluded from school how likely they are to come from families living in much lower income brackets right down to being in poverty and I think it's individual responsibility to actually advocate and call a call out individual cases of injustice as that comes along and sometimes there we go camera spinning around because the rain sometimes in a sense it's hard to know what to do but I've worked with definitely with people young people held back by in a sense living down to some of those societal expectations that have been put on them uh, they're young black males are usually really athletic they literally have more testosterone in their body than uh, I say how it is the white kid or the Asian kid sat next to them 
that are going to be yeah, more active, less able to sit in a school environment, have just different needs as a person growing up in terms of getting out there, uh, moving, doing exercise. And it's got to be personal responsibility how we tackle this because you can't legislate or make laws in any country to actually change what people think. You can, change, you can make laws about behaviour, but you can't make laws about what people think. So relating this to health and fitness, generally across the Western world, so the UK, or America, because we've got massive connections with America really through social media, where we live in places of abundance in terms of food supply and things like that, there's an ongoing obesity problem. But there's no point in the government saying, right, because of this problem, if you get into this category, uh, then this is now the law. You now have to go to food classes or visit the doctor to be weighed. You know, and I know there are programs that do that sort of thing as a support, but you can't change the fundamental way people think and view it by having laws. It's the same then with racism and it's the same with, you know, anything kind of in that category of discrimination we can have laws about the behavior and there are racism laws and there's crimes against black people you know in terms of if you do something there is consequences but it doesn't change the way people think and that's why it's got to start personally taking your own responsibility for what you think say like say as a joke or whatever that looks like and then beyond that starting really small in the areas that are close to you as in people your circumstances situation call out injustice you know however small call out that little staff room joke or that you know, kind of generalized comment about any people group you know people do bad stuff and that should be talked about no matter their background or creed but i know for me this kind of general thinking about certain people groups which is only in fun might only be in banter, you know, it's got to stop because if you let that little slice of attitude or thinking in, then where does it go? Now for most people, it doesn't go any further than just having a laugh, you know, but it's where it goes for our kids or where it goes for the people that we influence and it might only be that one time having that one joke with that person you might never ever see again but what does it open up so take your responsibility it's not up to the government it's not up to uh, someone to stand up and say right this is what we're going to do it starts from within so different sort of lunge and listen today but just really wanted to kind of get this out there this morning and yeah share where I think I'm at or what I'm gonna do with uh, what's going on